Hello Flossy friends, Lisa here at Shady Tree Stitches. Thank you for taking this time to join me for Mania Part 3. 2024 Mania, I decided to do traditional type of Mania stitching where I work on a different piece every day. Not new starts, just traditional pieces. So I must say, I, I really didn't enjoy swapping every day. I, you know, I get into something and it's like, I wanna keep stitching on this, but then I needed to move it on. It also meant I didn't reach all my goals in my prompt-based challenges for the month. Um, but my goal, big goal was to do the mania. So that was, I achieved that and I worked on all my pieces. And I think from memory, it was a total of 26 pieces. And I'm doing 24 and 24 in Whip Warriors, but don't stress, it's fine, because one of them was finished and replaced by another. And I also had um, the Notions box, which is not counted. Speaking of the Notions box, it's part of this month's stitching, but I'm going to start with it because I've just updated my Notions box. Isn't it looking great? So because I achieved my mania goal, I earned the right to put the magnifying glasses in. I've earned enough threads to put in another needle. I found a, I can't see the sparkly ones over there. I found another floss tuber, in, another floss tuber, Modmin in the wild. So I got to add another sparkly button. And I also have added the, the categories tiles um, across the top so I think it's really starting to look good you can see I've got a couple of needle minders that I burnt this one I was playing around with one on one I don't like it one on one but it made it fit and then the buttons I've been given by different events as well um, plus this month is purple so I got to put purple thread um yeah so I'm really pleased so that was actually today's stitching but I just want to show you because I had it done all right so since I saw you guys, we went up to the 20th of the month, and this is the last 10 days, the 21st onwards. Now, my um, my stitching for these, I thought I just got out, but maybe I didn't get it out. I think I thought I did. My usual sort of chaoticness. I started with doing a Train of Dreams. Oh, there it is, it's hiding. And uh, Train of Dreams is a heaven and earth design by artist Randall Spangler. And I worked on this one for, I actually did over two days because I needed to do 500 stitches for some prompts. But that was why I was happy to have a few extra days in the plan. And I actually bought myself a board. How exciting is that? So I can try to show you with some assemblance maybe if you've been able to see see it through the back all right mr train of dreams let's see how we go there he is so i was working on all this brown stuff and came right down here that's the bottom so this is as tall as it is but it does go a lot longer so there we go 500 more stitches in the browns for the train of dreams now it'll come into plans a bit, but that one is actually called for Whipco for this month. So Train of Dreams will be staying out for another thousand stitches. Um, the next one I worked on was my Chinese Garden Mandala. And again with this one, once I start stitching on it, I thoroughly enjoy it. But geez, I've got to, you know, put a lot of working to get to get myself to dig it out. And it's just so um so intricate that there's so much to be done. So many stitches. So this is where my Chinese garden mandala is. And I worked on basically this top square here with the reds. I filled in all the reds and the blues. So that got 302 stitches to get all that done. And, you know, it's coming together. It just needs me to spend some time on it. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I think a lot of people, me included, freak ourselves out by going, oh, it's a shadowing. It's got so many fancy stitches. It's got so much to do. Yeah, one of my friends, Sasha, who you often see on here, um, she's just finished one. She just stuck to it and kept stitching it. So it's quite possible to do if you actually just apply yourself. And that's what you need to do. I mean, nothing stitches itself, does it? My next one I worked on... Oh, yeah, sorry, my mistake. I meant to show you what Chinese garden mandala would look like in case you're new here, in which case, welcome. Hope you like coming. That's Chinese garden mandala. 
So you can see that it's got all that center bit that I'm doing and then a whole bunch of stuff around the outside. Okay, so the next one that I was working on was my longest whip, Fairy Tale Tale by Abris Arts, which is going to continue to be a focus piece. In fact, it's what I'm working on today. And this is where it is up to. So I was working on all this greenery shrubbery in here, getting that sort of bit done. And because I made a few mistakes, I had to pay close attention. But I think I'm about to tonight actually start doing this pathway that comes down here. One of my friends who's stitching it too, Kim, says it's a very painful path, so good to intersperse it with something else. So Fairy Tale Town got about 400 stitches on it so yeah just enough for one of the one of the daily 30 prompts um, so it's gonna get more love tonight then I was working on another one that's disappeared Macintosh Mill sure where my Macintosh mill has gone. They really should all be here somewhere. Anyway, Macintosh mill, I'll put a picture in here when I can find it. Got 504 stitches. And then the next one that, that and just so you can see it, that's what Macintosh mill will look like. It took a lot to get that 500 stitches because it's doing all the grass in the middle. And it's all half stitches. Then the next one that I was working on was Catch the Wind by Lavender and Lace. And in particular, I was trying to get to 2,000 stitches on it in red to um, meet a prompt for yeah. Down Under Beavers, but I didn't get there because I ran out of time to keep stitching on it. So this is where we are. All that red dress. About 1200 stitches in red. I just love this piece of fabric I dyed. It just looks like a garden meadow. And find the tights on. So, yeah, so that one had about five, six, eight, nine, about a thousand stitches done on it. So, yeah, what did I say? 1200. So, yeah, 11 or 1200 on that dress. Okay, then we got to turn the, the week. And I worked on the Greenhouse of Oddities, which I don't have a picture. Um, well, I'll put a picture here to show you what it's going to look like. The Lola Crow Sal that is finished now. Move on to the next one, but I'm nowhere near finished. And this is where I got up to. Did a lot of work here again, miscounting, having to fudge, but I hopefully it'll be okay. So I did a lot of work with these plants. Also, I think my colours are wrong. I don't think that's meant to be purple in there. Um, but that's what's on my, my floss drops. So I might have mislabeled them sometime. I don't mind it with the purple. It makes it look creepier. And creepy is good when it comes to Lola Crow, isn't it? But as you can see, I've got a long way to go. I haven't even finished mapping out the whole thing. It's going to run pretty close to the edge of the fabric on that side, but hopefully I didn't mismanage my accounting that extremely. Okay, then the next one that I worked on was my Celtic Winter. Now my Celtic Winter is my oldest whip and she's been around a long time. Um, she is a lavender and lace as well. And I worked on her dress a lot. So I nearly got the base part of her dress done. Then I've got all that gold stitching to do. So she got done, um, Oh, sorry, 802 on Greenhouse of Oddities, she got 409. So I did 
at least 300 on every whip. So yeah, so she still needs to come out and have some more love sometime. Don't know when, but it will happen. Um, I then had to work on the 12 days of Christmas. 12 days of Christmas by um, Design Works. Another long standing whip of mine. And this one, I was working down the bottom. In the, well, top up. I was working down the bottom in the border. So I got all that bottom border going across and started on the green and the blue. And another, another project that's going to take quite some time to get done. But it had a love of 304 stitches. It was hard because I was tired and I was trying to do it at night. And it's um, an opalescent like painted fabric from the old sew it all in Australia and it's like a film of, of sparkle on it so it's quite tricky to work in the night. Then I went to my pointed fifth which is my long dog. Um, Quinto, here Quinto and I am, I started in the middle which is chopped off a bit on this picture, but so sort of working around where my finger is there. And really enjoyed the fact that I only needed one thread. I know I picked out my other colors, so I'm really gonna to have to work out where on earth I put them because they're not in the kit with it. There we go. On my crazy die, the unique crazy die. And what my idea is to do the, the navy blue, which is 8.23. And then I'm going to do the animals in like hot pinks, purples, bright, bright golden yellows. So 404, no, 351 stitches, mostly across the bottom. You can see I've already missed my first animal. There's a bit of a rabbit there. But he's only part, like he's so close to the border. I, I don't think I'm in a problem but I might. Sorry to people with headphones, I'm going to whack you then if that hurt your ears. Okay, then I went back to, just for a, a moment or two, that, that was all my whips done. So I finished working on all my whips on the 30th. Mission accomplished, but I then had to come back to working on um, a whip that I'd previously worked on to try and achieve goal, which was Lavender Farm. And my Lavender Farm got another 404 stitches done on it, which really progressed it along quite nicely. There we are. And we're off. I'm going to put a hole in this still. I was over here on the side. You can see there's white and the pot plants. So that's where my lavender farm is at. Now I know coming up this month, there's um, a prompt that says, work on your piece closest to the finish. And I honestly do not know which one that is. It's going to be a bit of a challenge to work that out. So that my friends was all my stitching. And in the month, well, in the last two weeks, cause that's where yours cover, I did over two and a half thousand stitches each week which gave my monthly total of 17,323. That's pretty good. I was quite happy with that. That's, you know, slightly up on where I, I have been, definitely, um, down from April, but May used to be a really low month for me st statistically, and I'm really happy with that. We had the one finish of the spring smalls, um, and, the one start of the ABC um, alphabet thing by Hands Across the Sea. All in so, all, a really good month. Now it's funny, my yawn reminds me, I was just watching some floss tubes and um, the floss tubes are, floss tubers I was watching, one of them did a humongous yawn in the middle of it and I thought, oh, I really should, um, I really should remember that because yes, it is off-putting and contagious, so I'm sorry about that. Who have I been watching on Floss Tube? Well, I've been watching Stitching by the Shore, 
Laura. Um, I always like to watch her. I I also watch Jen the Caffeinated Crafter. Um, yeah, Welcome Stitchery. That was the one who did the big yawn. And it was quite interesting. It's a, it's a, a pair of ladies and one of them owns a shop, so that was quite good. Um, I've been watching the Evertote ones and I can see there's quite a few ready for me to watch. Um, looking through the list and I noticed that the um, Cross Stitch the Globe have done a few more specials and they really are going back to basics. How to separate stranded floss is one of their recent ones. So it's great that someone's taking care of everyone um, for beginning. So yeah, so that's pretty much who I've been watching. Um, I also do keep keep track on um, Sunshine Stitches and Garon Stitchery, Sammy J Stitches, and I also enjoyed watching the Tattooed Stitcher this week. So there you are, there's a few Floss Tube recommendations for you. All right, guys, that is all my stitching. As I said, pretty good mania, but I'm glad to be back to normal. Now, I did film a, a video with Natalie um, talking about my plans for the month, but just to give you a short summary in case you don't bother to watch those ones, um, I'm basically driven primarily by Down Under Diva's prompts and then secondarily by Stitching by the Shore. I am participating in the new Grace Note Stitching Challenges which is just starting out, so that would be interesting to see how it goes. And of course, I'm involved in everything Whip Warriors. So, what have we got? Well, Whip Go called for Angel, Lion and Lamb. So there needs to be at least a thousand of that. It also called for um, my Train of Dreams. So there's going to be at least a thousand stitches on that one. I've got my three pieces I need to focus on the Charlotte Worthington that I don't have a photo, my fairy tale village and my village at Hawk Run Hollow that I'm doing for the daily 30 yearly. Not that I'm really doing it properly because I really can't be bothered to match it up to book titles, but I'm going to at least keep going with the process to get my stitches done. And then the other one that I know is going to come out this month will be Maple Lane probably is my closest to a finish so you know maybe I could push through and try and get it finished that's all the concrete um, thoughts I have at the moment about my plans I have no haul whatsoever this week um, which is sad but that's the way it goes when I only get a couple of monthly subscriptions okay guys I said I didn't have any haul and then a couple of days after I filmed that bit and I haven't yet put it up I got two bits of haul. So I want to do some live unboxing of my haul for you and put it with this video, even though I'm officially getting them in June, because with the retreat, I don't want to take it all to the retreat. <laughs> so, silks for you. Oh, my silk of the month. This is very me. It's beautiful. Beautiful, different shades of teal and aqua. They're gorgeous, aren't they? I will be able to put them to good use. They're very mink colours. All right, so that's the beautiful silks for you silk of the month. Again, I thoroughly endorse them. And I got my project bag of the month from Simply Narelle. Again, beautifully wrapped. And let's see. Oh, it's a beautiful fabric. Stunning. That is a gorgeous fabric. Same on the front and back. It's got a pair of lovebirds. She does such a good job. All right. And what have we got with it? In the bag, as usual, there is some goodies. We have got, she does beautiful handmade cards. Beautiful thank you card. And yes, I definitely like this bag. And she's done an, um, an exclusive pattern it's super cute look at that she said to me when she saw my um my sample she said oh i'm using a pattern like that for, um sample mine because um my springs just finished with the trees with a couple of birds on the side but it is different but in a similar vein and then there's a lovely thread of course to go with it a very very cute bird needle minder 
We've got Russian caravan tea. My kids can enjoy that. And three yummy lollies to suck on. So that's exciting haul. All right, people. I will pop this into the haul segment for you. Bye. But there is big paddock news. Paddock lane design news. So it's only two weeks until the Mojo Stitches and Paddock Lane Design Stitching in the Mountains Winter Edition retreat is happening. So there will be a retreat special um, with Jenny and you'll be able to see all the fun of that. So I'm mad we're getting ready for that. Um, got my design finished and getting it kitted up. So yeah, just waiting for some fabric to get that dyed. Now I've got work between now and then, of course, and family. Lots of family upheaval still. Um, particularly with my daughter, um, which takes up a lot of my time and energy. Um, but really looking forward to the Stitching in the Mountains. Now there is still possibly one day spot available. If there's someone you know who lives in Sydney or Blue Mountains or has some accommodation they can find, um, it's only $200 for the, for the three days. And that includes um, all the retreat supplies, the use of the venue, because they charge us a daily fee per head um, and lessons with Mojo Stitches, Joanna and myself. I'm going to be doing a lesson, a um, teaching class on how to frame your work and I know Jo's going to be doing one about her exclusive piece. You've got two exclusive designs plus access to our pop-up shops and new releases for anyone else. So, you know, if you know anyone, please reach out, contact me um, and if they can... Um, um, that would be great we would really appreciate it because we do try to keep the costs super low um, to make it affordable for everyone and unfortunately when we don't fill all the spots then that puts financial pressure back on us so um, yeah I'm looking forward to seeing all the lovely ladies we have about 40 guests that come it's a really nice intimate retreat and I'm really really looking forward to it in the in the chilly winter of the Blue Mountains all right, friends, that's all for me for today. I will see you in two weeks. And until then, happy stitching, everyone. Bye.